From the search mode again, pressing menu gets me to the six block menu. I'm going to go over to audio and press enter to enter my audio options. I have target volume, and I, again, I can increase that or decrease it. Again, the check mark tells me what my standard setting is. Uh, audio threshold, uh, I can increase or decrease with my arrows. Uh, your tone, if I enter tone, that gives me different tones for my targets and my threshold tone. There is advantage to setting your threshold tone a, slightly different than your target tone. That way, that steady threshold that's going on all the time, it's more easy to recognize a target signal if, if that threshold tone is different than your target tone. Uh, going on down, then, we have tone ID, which this is your... Uh, the higher the VDI number, the higher the pitch of the tone. And some people really like that. It's been proven to be able to pull or recognize some good targets among heavy trash quite easily, uh, although it does require a huge amount of concentration and patience for a huge variation in tone. And then again, we have our wireless headphones. Entering wireless, I can enable or disable my wireless headphones Again, this is preset to be automatic on channel 4. The green bar indicates how, much, uh, how clean that channel is. Channel 4 is looking pretty good here. It has a lot more green than it has red. Red is your external noise or your interference. If I change channels from 4, I will have to do a connect sequence, but that may be necessary to do uh, a connect sequence if I've got a lot of external noise. If I have a lot of red in this bar, that means that I've, I've got a lot of external noise and I probably want to pick a different channel. Select the channel with the maximum green in the bar. And that's going to be the cleanest channel to use. Another indication where you have a... a noisy channel is you'll get an occasional beep through the speaker. If the detector cannot make a good connection to the wireless, it sounds through the speaker. And that'll happen if you have a, uh, problems with your channel. Your power level is how much power is being transmitted out to your headphone. Uh, of course, the higher power levels are going to give you uh, a little more uh, distance away, but primarily this is the strength of the signal it's sending. You don't want to give it more power than you need to because you're wasting battery life. Monitor battery uh, speaker, this is automatically selected to be on. You can see the X in the box. When it's on, if you turn on your wireless headphones, that automatically connects from channel 4. If you turn them off, that automatically goes to the, the speaker. It also monitors the battery that's in your uh, wireless headphones. It'll show that on the screen with a little headphone icon when your battery gets low in your wireless headphone. So monitor speaker does two things. Monitors the battery when it's on, mon monitors the battery in your wireless headphone, and it also automatically connects or disconnects between the built-in speaker and the wireless. If you uh, only use wireless headphones, probably a good idea to, to disable speaker. It'll give you a, uh, a little advantage there in battery life when your wireless headphones are, are uh, not being used. And that is, if you're not using wireless all the time, it's better to turn off speaker. I have to correct myself there uh, because it does not transmit out any signal to look for wireless headphones. Then the multiple wireless headphone option allows a number of White's wireless headphones to listen to the same metal detector. Again, a connect sequence is required for that, uh, but that's a, a big advantage in teaching and sharing the hobby. To do a connect sequence, basically what you do is after you've picked a channel that you want, you're going to menu tab to connect, you're going to press enter, it's going to tell you here to, to hold the, the power button on all the headphones you want to connect to. Uh, once it's done, it's, uh, I don't have a wireless on right now, but once it is done, it will tell you it's done, and you just squeeze and release the trigger to return to the search mode or to through the men, back up through the menu system. The wireless are on, but it's not receiving a signal uh, because my wire, I don't have a wireless headphone turned on, and that's why you see the slash mark through the wireless headphones. These status bars are listed on the bottom of the control box. Uh, the light bulb tells you the backlight's on. The headphone tells you it's wireless headphones are turned on, but it doesn't see one.